Psalm chapter 39 is the 39th Psalm of the Book of Psalms, generally known in English by its first verse in the King James Version. First said, First will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. The Book of Psalms is the third section of the Hebrew Bible and a book of the Christian Old Testament. In the Greek Septuagint version of the Bible and in its Latin translation in the Vulgate, this psalm is Psalm chapter 38 in a slightly different numbering system. In Latin, it is known as Dixie Custodium Vias Maes 1. It is a meditation on the fragility of man before God, ending in a prayer for a peaceful life. Okay, and... Oops, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Bear with me and then we'll go to the book. The psalm is a regular part of Jewish, Catholic, Anglican, and Protestant liturgies and is appointed in the Anglican common prayer to be read at funerals. It has inspired hymns based on it and has been set to music often. It was set by Baroque composers such as Heinrich Schutz and single verses were used prominently in major works by Johannes Brahms in Ein Deutsches Requiem and by Igor Stravinsky in Symphony of Psalms. According to the Talmud Baba Bhadra 14ab, this is one of the ten psalms authored by Moses to Matthew Henry attributes it to David stating that he must have been in emotional turmoil or beset by enemies when he wrote the psalm, and struggled to wait patiently for God's salvation. 3. Verse 1 in the Hebrew text addresses the song to Jeduthun. According to Rashi, this refers either to one of the Levite singers or to the name of a musical instrument. 4. According to Brugman and Ballinger, Psalm chapter 39 articulates hope and despair simultaneously, as it tries to come to terms with the transience and troubles of life. Five other Christian scholars see the psalm as an analogy to one's sins, where he is representative of the members of his body. Christians, six Adam Clark summarizes the psalm as follows, faith has always to struggle with difficulties, though troubles of life come ever into his memory. His prayer is that his God will provide for him. 7. Charles Spurgeon sees the psalm saying there is a time to be silent and a time to speak. 8. While Hans Werner sees an inner struggle for David to control his tongue. 9. And I think that's... Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to use there. And this is Psalms 39. I will watch my ways until the end for Edith and himself a. Oh. Let's see here. Canticle. Canticle of David to. I said, I will take heed to my ways that I sin not with my tongue. I have set a guard to my mouth when the sinner standeth against me. <clears throat> I was dumb and I was humbled and I kept silent for good things in my sorrow was renewed. My heart grew hot within me and and in my meditation a fire shall flame out. I spoke with my tongue, O Lord, make me know my end, and what is the number of my days, that I may know what is wanted to me. Behold, thou hast made my days measurable, and my substance is as nothing before thee, and indeed all things are vanity every man living surely man patheth patheth 
as an image, yea, yea, and he is disquieted in vain. He storeth up, and, and he knoweth not for whom he shall gather these things. And now, what is my hope? It is not the Lord, my substance, is with thee. Deliver thou, <clears throat> deliver thou me from all my iniquities. Thou hast made me a reproach to the fool. I was dumb, and I opened not my mouth, because thou hast done it. Remove thy... Oh, I'm going to mess this up. Hold on. Scourges. Uh, remove thy scourges from me. The strength of thy hand hath made me faint in rebukes. Thou hast corrected man before... Thou hast corrected man for iniquity, and thou hast made his soul to waste away like a spider. Surely in vain is any man's disquieted. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and my supplication. Give ear to my tears. Be no silent. Be at be no silent. For I am a stranger with thee, and a sojourner, as all my fathers were. O oh, forgive me, that I may be refreshed before I go hence, and be no more. <clears throat>